Joining us now is the man behind that new Camden Yards mural. It's artist Logan Hicks. Good to see you, Logan. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Listen, we've had people call in from all kinds of places. I think this is the first calling us from Paris. Not bad at all. What are you working on there? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a pretty good locale, huh? Um, <laughs> I came up here actually for the Festival America, which is one of the largest literary festivals in Europe. And I was brought over here to do a to do a mural. And the mural that I did was based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven with my friend Joe Irado. So bring a little bit of Baltimore to Paris, even when I leave Baltimore. <laughs> I love it. And you did a heck of a job here in Baltimore as well over at Camden Yards. I just saw a photo of your mural. Great work. Uh, just tell us about the, the inspiration, what you were going for there. Well, so with, with the, the mural at Camden Yards, I tried to celebrate not only the Orioles, but sort of the spirit of Baltimore. And so... You know, for myself, I started looking at the history of the of the stadium. I started looking at how the sorry, there's a little bit of noise here. <laughs> That's all right. I looking at like the B and O railroad uh, warehouse there, and so you know, I thought to myself, well, you know, the railroad used to connect people back in the day, both wow. physically, um, through commerce and everything else. So I thought that was a good starting point. So if you look, you'll see the B and O um, headquarters building in there. Yeah. And then for the people that are in it, I came and I. I during during one of the games when they opened the gates i just started photographing everyone that came through not really sure what i was going to do and as i started going through the pictures i noticed all the people wearing the baltimore's gear and and i thought you know what a great way to celebrate team spirit by uh covertly putting them into a mural so anybody that was wearing Baltimore's gear that day ended up being in the mural. I love it. And I, I was going to ask you about your styles on your on your website. And it, it, there's a lot of realism um, within your work. Are those photos that you end up painting or how does how does your process work? Well, I, I start with photos. Um, I'm a stencil artist by trade. And so, uh, OK, you know, you take the photos and break it down to high, medium, low contrast, make some stencils and then spray paint it on the wall. I mean, that's the dumbed down version. But um. You know, the, the benefit is that you do get photo, photographic realism. Um, you're able to kind of scale up a mural from a small photo. And, um, you know, it has a, a, a pretty true likeness, but with the artist's touch. Yeah. How cool is it for your hometown to feature you as you walk into, you know, one of the probably the best stadium in, in the league now? Oh, it's amazing. You know, like, I'm, I mean, I live up in New York now, but I still consider myself, you know, from Baltimore. I mean, Baltimore is a city that I rep when I travel. And so, to be weaved into the to the fabric of Baltimore is an amazing um, feeling, and knowing that when I go back down there, I can see it. Knowing that you know, I've had friends text me and call me saying that they're at a game and they saw it, and so uh, I don't know. It's just nice being even a little footnote on the history of Baltimore. I love it. I appreciate you spending time with us, folks. If you look right over that left shoulder of his, that's uh, the Eiffel Tower. Not bad at all. Not bad. Thank you, sir. We, have, we appreciate the time. Have a good one. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Uh huh. And that's all for this edition of 11 TV Hill. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.